All right, Stock Master fans, an 80s classic about the 60s. A re-review from my old channel. It's The Hollywood Nights. Let's watch. Fellas, don't get bummed out. Remember, a friend with weed is a friend indeed. 329 Big Boy Time. Our movie starts with Robert Wool taking some pictures of some topless girls, including Fran Drescher. There are some certain patrons of Tubby's Drive-In who don't like these people. All right, there's some hazing going on here for some people who want to join this club called the Hollywood Knights. They've been dropped off in watch about clothes. Movie stars Tony Danz and an uh, absolutely stunning Michelle Pfeiffer in her first film role. Theatrical film. This is Jimmy. He's off to the war. And this is Tubby's driving where they're at. This is Stuart Pankin as Dudley. Of course, despite the fact that Dudley is in his 30s, he's a high school student in this movie, as is everybody else. And let's beat the shit out of the Panthers. A pretty memorable nude scene of a cheerleader who forgets to wear her underwear. She showed it all to this crowd, and I wish I could show it to you too. That's Michelle Drake, Playboy Playmate from the 70s. Features some drag racing too. New Bomb Turk. He's volunteering to help these guys carry in the punch bowl for the school party dance. They don't think it tastes right, so they bring the cops in. It does have a little wang in it. Good though. Dudley, are you okay? Poor Dudley. It's gonna be alright. They are trying to Is that you again? Yeah, Dudley, steal his act. The famous one-armed violinist. Fran Drescher was about to get laid. Listen closely, you hear Tony Danza's name. Tony. The boys who were getting hazed have found some outfits to wear. They got to get to the radio station and have a dedication played for Tubby's Drive-In Final Night by 2 a.m. Officer Bimbo and his partner. And practical joke on Officer Bimbo. Dudley's made an honorary knight. For me? Well, you earned it. Put on, man. Thanks. Knight. Oh, we got this dedication. 
you know, some pledges, uh, down yeah, here, uh, right, right on the corner. Right here? Yeah, right there. And they want this on the radio? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sick, you, you got, got it. it. See, uh, they you got it. For a car club and everything. You know. Quest. There's a group of guys out there that got a car club that they more or less own the place. And it's called the Hollywood Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Freeman has been cheating on her husband. Alright, let's talk about the Hollywood Nights. Basically a teen sex comedy, came out in 1980. Um, kind of nostalgic for me, I have some history for this. Uh, when I was growing up, I grew up in a town called Two Rivers, Wisconsin. And um, I knew this guy named John, um, John Bunk, B-O-N-K. And uh, he was actually my father's age, but he had cerebral palsy and he used to tool around Two Rivers in this electric wheelchair. But before anybody really had electric wheelchairs, he was just, he was just kind of a known person in town. Everybody liked John. He was very childlike, and uh, he used to hang out with a lot of kids, including myself, and go over to his house, play Atari, and watch movies. And one of the movies that he always showed was The Hollywood Nights, which was his all-time favorite movie. He grew up in the 60s, and he knew all about that stuff. So it was his favorite movie, so he watched it a lot. So I watched it a lot, and every time I watch this movie, I think of John, of course. Now, I actually saw this movie before I knew John, actually. It showed up on cable in, I think, 1982. And um, one thing I remember always was the... The, the shit scene, the dog shit scene where they put dog shit in a bag and uh, light it on fire, uh, ring somebody's doorbell. When they come out and stomp it out, of course, they stomp on the dog shit. I think that was something that was used quite a bit in the 80s, and this is, as far as I know, where the first place where it came from. So this movie inspired me, put it that way, because I have done the same thing. So anyway... Um, it's a fairly uh, kind of a typical teen, teen sex comedy, except it's got a lot of 50s and 60s music in it. Good music, actually. Beach Boys and such. And um, basically, it revolves around a, a small story here, a place called Tubby's Drive-In. Um, it's closing. This is their last night. It's Halloween night, 1965. It's the last night they're going to be open. There's a, a group of kids, high school kids. Uh, they're in a club called the Hollywood Knights. And they kind of run the place, and uh, they have pledges who want to join, this sort of thing. Tony Danz is in this, Michelle Pfeiffer, and um, Robert Wool and Fran Drescher, actually, too. Robert Wool plays New Bomb Turk. He actually is kind of the star of this movie, if you ask me, and he does, um, he plays a lot of practical jokes on people, pisses in the uh, punch bowl at, at, at the school dance, has that uh, farting thing he does on stage, and um, it's just, uh, there's a lot of nudity thrown in as well. He's taking some pictures of some girls sleeping topless, or sunbathing topless. Um, it's kind of a cool movie, but just leave it at that. Um, and uh, ultimately, there's a little bit of a drama in there, too, uh, between these two are a couple, Michelle Pfeiffer and Tony Danza. They kind of split up a little bit, but then they get back together, and she's going to try to be an actress. One of the guys is going off to Vietnam, and um, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's also a subplot where the people who are closing Tubby's driving want to build this other thing. The woman's having an affair. Uh, there's the two police officers, Officer Bimbo and the other guy, uh, who are always giving everybody a hard time. Uh, they play practical jokes on them, too. Um, yeah, and that's it. It's a teen sex comedy. There's plenty of nudity thrown in here as well, including that famous scene. Uh, I don't know if it's famous, but the girl, the cheerleader who forgets to put on her underwear. So when she jumps up and down, her everything is shown. And they show it on the screen, too, which I couldn't show you. I found out today that was played by uh, Michelle Drake, a Playboy Playboy from 1979, I believe. Um, a few other nude scenes as well, like I said, thrown in there. Um, it's a cool movie. It really is a cool movie. Now, this is a movie... I used to work at a video store in the 90s. This is one of the most requested movies I had at the time. And at the time, it wasn't available. It wasn't available on VHS um, because, presumably, uh, song rights and, and such. It finally did get a VHS release, I want to say, late 90s, maybe 1998 or so. I don't know. It's 97. It was up there. It was, it was quite a while before it actually came out. And then, of course, DVD came shortly after that. And then um, I picked up that as well. So, anyway, this is a, a very popular film from people who grew up in that era, like that American graffiti era. If you were probably born like a baby boomer, born 45 to 55 in that range, you probably are very nostalgic of this film when you saw it because it took you back. And I can tell you, like I said, this was one of the most requested films 
that we didn't have because it wasn't released. This and Heavy Metal, the other one, hadn't been released either for music rights. So, but anyway, it's a cool movie. I want to say this is on Blu-ray now. I'm not sure if it is. I'll leave a link to it on Amazon down below. It's a good movie, and this one's for John. So check it out. Leave some comments. It's The Hollywood Nights. Watch it. Bye.